What is going on, everybody? Matt Downs from Daily Grind Fantasy Sports here with Jeremy, the almost $1 million winner here from Prize Picks' promo. For anybody, just to give a backstory here, uh, for anybody who doesn't know what the Prize Picks promo is, they pick any random user on any day. It's, it's a daily promo where they have one chance to win $1 million on Prize Picks. So Jeremy was selected. Uh, this was what day was it, Jeremy? It was Friday. I Last Friday, he was selected for the uh, the person to go possibly six of six to win one million dollars so my first question for you jeremy how are you feeling i'm feeling good it uh i don't think it's really sunk in quite yet but i definitely feel good about it happy. that's amazing man so i i must give backstory here uh -huh. you dm'd me you you dm'd me first and you said hey man you sent me a screenshot i'm gonna actually probably put the screenshot here just uh yeah, with with no context after we we uh, do the interview but you asked me you said dude is this a scam because in your promo in your promo i guess it was the the promo little uh amount it said one million dollars and so right. so so walk me through that process did you you obviously got that promo before you were notified by prize picks right yeah i guess they had sent me an email i think it was around 11 o'clock that day gotcha i drive a forklift so i wasn't really look, able to look at my phone i got a phone call and i just so happened to be caught up at work so i answered it and it was a guy with prize picks telling me i had a won the free entry for a million dollars and i was asking straight up i said man i said it's hot i'm tired i scam i don't have time for this today and oh that's funny yeah he pretty much told me it was the real deal and uh, so i went with it and i had to sign a couple of documents send it over to him and then uh from there he uh emailed me back and then he told me to make my six picks for the major league baseball gotcha so we did limit you to the mlb i believe mlb was the only sport going on that day correct yeah, it was gotcha so that that's that's hilarious because when i looked at it i didn't know how to respond i was like dude like that's a promo like you you must have got i forget how i responded but i was like that looks legit like that's that's a million dollar promo anyway i didn't even know so i hadn't heard back from you but then i assumed the best i saw on on prize picks twitter that your name was tweeted out and i was like oh my gosh it wasn't a scam there he is and and i knew that you were a dgf user obviously uh, per our our uh, previous interactions but yeah. that's that's amazing. So you can confirm for everybody watching that this was not a scam. No, it was not a scam. It was the real deal. I have the money and that's amazing. Amazing. So I, I, my next question was, you know, uh, how did they notify you of the one million dollars? So they notified you via email. Did they try calling you? Uh, yes, that's how I ended up getting. They got a hold of me. I, they called me and I answered the phone because I hadn't checked my email yet. Gotcha. And you said you were on a forklift when you received. Yeah. That's yeah. that's hilarious. That's awesome, man. Um, so now the people must know. Once you got that entry in hand, how did you select your your potential six of six slip? Man, I think I only had maybe an hour to make my pick. So I had to get off the forklift, had to go find someone to cover me. I ran outside. My keys were in my backpack, so I couldn't get in my, you know, start my truck up, get the air. So I had to sit in my truck, you know, 80, 90 degrees. And first thing I thought was like, man, I'm gonna have to go to Daily Grind Fantasy to optimize. Oh, That's man. My, it's, it's this is the truth, you know. So I went there and I looked and the first couple of players I seen was, uh, I'm trying to think who all I had picked. I believe it was uh, Chris Morell. He was at the top of the optimizer and I liked his percentages. I think it was to get one total Total base, I believe. Total base, yep. Yeah, so I went with that, and then I went down. I believe Betts was the next one, which I know is kind of iffy as hot as they've been. The Dodgers have been. So I went with Betts, and I want to say it was Riley Green, and... I think Hunter Green. Well, Hunter Green was your pitcher, your pitcher, right? He's a stud, so... Yeah, he was. I, I felt good with him anyway, picked against the Cubs. And then uh, I think the other one was uh, Freddie Freeman, which I know kind of cost me the million, you know, hindsight. Looking back now, I'm like, uh... Hindsight's always twenty twenty. So... yeah. So here's the thing. So the process just looked like going down the list and literally selecting almost the top six, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I always talk about on Twitter the uh, process of actually going down the list and selecting. A lot of people tell me it's BS, but you literally did that and you hit five to six. Literally, now, yeah. the only difference between you and the regular user is that you had a potential to make $80,000 when hitting five to six. People just double up, right? So it isn't as right. cool when they're doing it but yeah i mean that's that's amazing to hear so my next question man i hate to be that guy but you were 1.5 points away from one million dollars does that ever eat you up inside or is it just like are you grateful with the eighty thousand dollars i'm definitely very grateful with the 80 grand but i started thinking about the last couple of days and i've rewatched. i think it was his last little blooper to center field and i was just mm -hmm. like like center fielder could have got dirty, could have caught it. I, you know, yeah. but what it is, I'm happy the 80k. I mean, nothing like this has ever happened to me in my life. Probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. 
That's amazing, man. You, you, you were given the free entry to do so. So, you know, obviously yeah. it is an amazing opportunity to go five to six regardless. And nobody's done it right. Everybody who has, who's tried to this point, the highest they've gotten is five to six. So, all right. So I must, so I must ask, I think we talked about this before the, the interview here. You've only been playing prize picks since November, right? November 1st, man, my buddy, uh, Derek Farmer got, he'd been playing it and he got me onto it one day at work and I started playing. I think I told you earlier, it was I think college football season. So I started playing that and I was doing pretty good. And I just, I'm a big sports fan, man. I love anything sport. And I just started playing I, every single day. The rest is history. That's awesome, man. And how long have you been a DGF member? Um, I think right around probably November. Gotcha. I would say. Yeah, it had to be November. I appreciate you being a, a longtime member, man. Ever since oh, yeah. ever since you got started, you've been giving us trust. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. You guys are, are the best in the business, in my opinion. And uh, I'll rock to the end, like I told you guys. Uh, we got two questions left, man. How was the sweat? Yeah. So, like, did you watch every single uh, game? Did you watch an ESPN GameCast? Like, did you purchase a, an MLB, I think, it was like, the all-access to all their games? Like, what did yeah. you do that night? This is funny. I already, I already purchased it <clears throat> at the beginning. I'm a big, huge Yankees fan, so I watch all the Yankees games. Well, that day, I was thinking, my mind's money. My luck's not that good. So, honestly, I was watching a movie, uh, Den of Thieves, and I didn't even look at the scores. Nothing. Didn't check. I was going to wake up in the middle of the night and then check my phone, and I believe the guy that uh, had called me from Prize Pick texted me, and he said, Jeremy, let's go in all capital letters. I'm thinking, that sounds kind of promising. I better look, and this is funny. <laughs> so I, go to, I go to Twitter, and I get on there, and guess who the first First person is I see Matt down. <laughs> that said, dude. Yeah. So let, hold on. So you didn't watch any of the games where you had potentially one million dollars. No idea. I had <laughs> no. Now I seen where Green and Morrell had hit there. I was two earlier in the day. Dude, and, I would yeah. be going. So so to put this in perspective, I know me and my internal team. We were all watching like almost every single at bat. We were texting about it back and forth. And here we are, the the person who put in the entry. You aren't even watching. Nope, didn't even watch. <laughs> I just, I was too nervous and I was, didn't think it ever happened, you know, honestly. I was Man. like, I, you know, I had to rush my picks. Didn't have to, usually I like to do homework, study my picks, et cetera. But like I said, I used the opto optimizer and Dude. looked at Twitter and there it was, Matt Downs. And you had text, I think you said, congrats, Jeremy, five out of six, 80 grand. I was like, shit. <laughs> well, then I will let you know how the chain of events happened. You went to two or two. Okay. And then at seven, I started watching the games. Um, and Freddie Freeman actually hit his over pretty early. So I got bummed and I kind of stopped watching. I, you know, I was yeah. like, all right, well, best he's going to do is, is 80,000. You know, that's still crazy, yeah. but obviously, right. But yeah, we, we had turned off the game because we wanted to go for that million. Like we wanted the all or nothing, but then we came back and we realized that every player who was doing well, who was about to hit their overs. Cause you took, I think it was three or four fantasy scores in your slip. They were, they were on pace to hit the over and they all just kind of sucked in the second second half of their games so freddie freeman hitting early was you know it, it sucked but everybody else had sucked after that point so regardless man that that's awesome and then i have yeah. one more question for you that people want to know yeah are you being safe with your money what are you doing you buying a new car you buying a new expensive watch you know honestly none of that uh i'm happy where i'm at i love my place you know my house i love my vehicle uh i'll probably uh buy my mom whatever she wants take oh. care of her foremost you know Man. And nieces and nephews other than that i'm just gonna save the money dude that was probably the most humble thing you could have said into the camera that that's amazing jeremy appreciate you i appreciate you taking the time out of this day to, to do this interview and man, hopefully we can we can go for another million dollar winner at some point in the future, right? Who knows? Oh, oh yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. If it wasn't for the optimizer, you know, you guys it never would have happened. So I owe really all the credit to you guys. So I appreciate it. Really appreciate you, Jeremy. Again, thank you so much, and man, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Matt. You too, man.